Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name's Garrett, and welcome to The Cage. We are back in World War Z on the Xbox One X. We are in Episode 4, Tokyo. We finished up, last time, the Setting Sun mission. Barely. Uh, there were some pretty dicey points in there, even on easy. This is a, a tough level for individual people. And this one's called Final Call. This one only has two uh, chapters or inside the episode. So, let's get going. I'm in love with this area as well. I, I was a big fan of the first map, and this is just adding on it already. <laughs> Starting with a with uh, the rocket here is going to make my life easier. Let's go keep going this way. Stay close. Hide them. Is down. go that way. Maybe we should shut this big door behind us. There's no way through on the road. <sighs> These soldiers deserved better than this. Crack this open. Deep breaths. Oh. The bridge. We have to help them. Down here. We can get through. That truck is our way up. On up. I see mines. <laughs> this would have been the whole country if we hadn't left. Stationary machine gun. Take out the hazmat. Hey, let us through. We can't do that. There's a swarm coming. We'll let you through when the bridge is clear. It's against orders. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Okay, keep the automatic turret in case we need it for the end. We are not here to save ourselves. Reloading! Kill the screamer! Oh, 
Boy, bad. I got him. We're all good. Stay together. There's one hiding. Oh, good. Thank you. If it shoots, I'll take it. Loading fresh ammo. I'm going to keep the automatic turret there. I'm going to take it with us, like I said. I'm hoping to get off three shots on this and then get back down straight behind us to the uh, automatic turret. Well, that whole time I thought that would control those guys a little bit. Guess not. Here they come. Oh my god. Some more, I was about to say. I think there should be some more Molotovs laying around somewhere. That went extremely well for round one, though I did use up all the uh, mortars. Quite the downside. I hear a bull. You. Getting some protection for a moment. Nice. Is everybody okay? Hold. No one gets through without being checked. Whoa. No need for the gun. Twelve count is good. You can go. That was too close. Okay, grab that. Take this with us. <laughs> Do it. Command, Team Four has cleared the gate twelve. Please have your identification and transfer assignment open and visible for the officer to check as you enter. Thank you. Fuel depot. Okay. Why are we going to the fuel depot? Hey, you can't be in here. Command ordered us to the fuel depot. Keep moving. It's like, oh, okay, that's fine. This thing is chaos, Good luck. man. We'll be lucky to get out. Considering the task, I think it's pretty organized. If we don't get on that ship because of this fuel depot side trip. Oh. <sighs> Command, we are almost inside the fuel depot. My team left a cache of explosive charges inside. Rig them up to the tanks. You are blowing the depot. Blowing the depot will create a wall of fire. Between the mainland and the ship. And it will also probably help out with uh, a distraction. They're going to go towards the explosion. Find the explosives. We've got infected inside the depot. Damn it. Explosives. I'll get it set up. Reloading. Guys, cover me. I placed the charge. Reloading. Grab another one. All units. Intel reports multiple swarms approaching the port. Stay together, there's one hiding. Eyes open for a lurker. Setting up explosives. 
run to this one. Love the fee. Fun explosives. I'll get it set up. Hold the line. We need more time. I placed the charge. Come in. The explosives are set. It's engaging fuel lines now. Pull back and provide cover until the ship clears the dock. Understood. There's a tender at the dock. He'll bring you to the ship. Okay, looks like we're assembling upstairs. You guys hold a moment while I heal you. It's like to keep everybody topped up here. I don't know what to expect. Fantastic. Let's get moving then. We don't want to miss our boarding. We definitely don't want to miss boarding for this, though. You guys get him? Oh, it's a payload rifle. Those are nice. I like the payload rifle. Mainly because it's not just a one shot done. Obviously, I understand why the rocket launcher is a one shot done. We got a report of a swarm coming in. A big one. We're the only thing between them and a ship. Oh no, I didn't grab that automatic turret. Oh, I feel like an idiot. Hazmat suit is on Let's the ground. see them get past this. I feel like an idiot. I didn't use it right away so I can bring it with us. I need help. Get it off. You guys, I'm dying. Too close. Way too close. Turret running. I needed that. If it shoots, I know SMG is better. It's a higher grade. Health. Any more tools around here? There's one out there. I see one. Please be another auto turret. High voltage. Okay, I will accept that. That would be my second choice. Gosh, darn it! Can't let that happen again. Electric grid power. That's cool. We can actually put it up on the chain link fence of it. Oh, we are. You've done your country a great service. Is there no? Okay, there is. Way up here. Oh, they're coming from that way. Oh, another stationary gun. Put that here. Load.
Right, I ask how they're getting across here. All that practice paid up. Need some Molotovs. You guys hold them for a moment. Okay, so far so good. Coming up, up the middle now. Oh, I see another box in there. Mowing them down. Definitely the number of enemies is drastically dropped down by going to easy mode. I mean, it's just, it's night and day different. Probably put it up front just to keep this barrier going. We made it. I think we made it. guys boy oh boy do i have some things to talk about with this game uh start off with this is a 40 dollars game and i think a lot of people just because of the name overlooked it and i'm not going to argue i did the same thing anytime you hear a movie licensed game or even a game that has a movie's name in, in this situation you instantly write it off because you're like it's not going to be good it's not going to be good or it's going to be just meh at best. But honestly, this game has a lot of surprised a lot of people. And it covers so many bases. First of all, being a Left 4 Dead fan from back in the day on PC, this was a fantastic and it doesn't it doesn't hold itself any accountability here. It definitely copies that concept. And that's not a bad thing because it stands on its own as well. Zombie games are zombie games, but this game really took it to another level by giving you the, the swarms. Having the hordes of zombies like in Left 4 Dead was, was tough. But seeing these swarms and how they react, climbing on top of each other just to climb over that fence is terrifyingly good. Character models look fairly solid, and each little story is fun. And again, most of them we played on normal, and they were some hard spots. I had to go to easy on this one because I was just having a hard time on the first part of this uh, episode four. As a single person, 
that's hard. <laughs> it was hard. And the fact that they put that option in here to be able to play this solo offline is great. You don't see a lot of multiplayer games or multiplayer concept games do that. The amount of replay value is astronomical because you have not only different levels, different classes, which all the classes that I played were fairly solid. Um, tons of upgrades, not only for your class, but for weapons. But each mission, each map is so different than the one before. And they all play differently and similarly, which is good. They feel fresh. Each time you go into a new map, things are shifted around. Sometimes there's things here, and that's good. The randomization of that is solid. And the zombie mod models themselves, well, textbook zombies, they all work really good. The, the Screamer loved the design and the sound effects that he gives off. The Bull obviously works solid. And then we have the Lurker. And... They, the company has already said, or the developers have already said, this game has outdid they, what they expected, and they have a roadmap for DLC. A game like this that's an online game can last years if they keep putting out good maps and good content and challenges and stuff. That's great to see. It really took me by surprise on how much I enjoyed this game. And again, it's hard to find a copy in stores. Uh, most of them are hit and miss. And that's very curious on that because obviously the developers go, this is how many we're shipping out. And all of a sudden they go, oh, we need more? Well, we got more. Hold on. And that's, that's a good problem to have in their situation. For 40 bucks, this game has so much good to it and a few issues. Um, we found a few zombies that just like locked up in their idle animations after killing them. Uh, maybe a couple graphical pops here and there. And that's about it. Sound design is really good in here. The, the music, the soundtracks themselves are solid. Guns sound good. And speaking of sound, I am shocked on how much silenced weapons make a difference in this game. I, I noticed they, they give us silenced guns right at the beginning. I'm like, why? This is not a time to be quiet. You're trying to live. But it makes 100% difference. And I'm sure on the harder difficulties... That kind of stuff will make or break a team. The defensive position stuff with the auto turrets and the defense grids and all that stuff is a really cool concept. I, I like that. I One thing I do wish is the NPCs, I wish there was a way to either upgrade them or get them different weapons, kind of like what they eventually started doing in Payday 2. That's a, a, a small thing. But it's still a thing because for me it would be it would be almost impossible to keep going harder into the uh, difficulties without upgrading my people too. Maybe down the road we'll see more of that. I'm sure they're going to keep cranking out more episodes because they want to keep this game fresh. And congrats to the team. So I'm going to end it there. I think it's definitely worth 40 bucks all day, every day. And, and honestly, it's probably close to the 60 bucks. Uh, if this were to release at six bucks, probably would have gotten a little more um, pushback. At forty bucks, it's a steal. So, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you can give the video a like, it does help us out quite a bit. Also, check out the channel because we have tons of videos going on over there. Until next time, you guys stay frosty.